This video is sponsored by War Thunder. Hardcore Iron Man, let's go. You know, I've always thought the Sepulchre was insanely balanced, but now I'm rethinking that. They probably have to nerf the loot. I mean, look at this. We got eight whole monkfish from one chest. I mean, that is just absolutely insane. I know that we've all been dreading this, but it is time to risk the hardcore status like we never have before at probably the scariest boss in the game, and that is Scurrious. We are going to be facing off against the Rat King himself. Now, the reason I want to do this, and there are actually multiple, is mostly because collection log slot. Obviously, Scurrious' spine is great. The XP per hour here is actually amazing, and they updated Scurrious to drop medium clues at a rate of 1 in 25. I think because I have the medium combat tasks done, it's 1 in 22 or 23, which is pretty good. That might be one of my better ways of getting medium clues because the impling method is so tedious. I absolutely hate it. So we're going to do some Scurrious and some medium clues and see how it goes. I'm going to use the range setup to start off with. I'm not sure if it's my best setup since I don't have the deck scroll, but we'll see how it goes. Oh baby, look at that. Only eight kills in and we've already got our first medium clue scroll. And also this boss drops a ton of alcables and just like random junk. So that's pretty cool. 41 kill count. We got the Scurrious spine. That means we can actually go and make a Scurrious weapon so I don't have to use my poor poor amethyst darts anymore let's get out of here there's probably more loot i could have picked up what am i gonna drop my prayer potions come on okay so i think the one i'm going to make is the melee weapon because i think my melee gear is probably the best out of all of mine i do have that one piece of masori for range which is cool but i don't think it's going to overpower the uh mostly best in slot melee gear i have don't talk to me about it okay i don't want to be bullied i know it's not amazing okay let's combine scurrious spine with the rune mace at an anvil. Okay, let's give this another shot. You should select an item from your inventory and use it on the anvil. Dude, this game is just bullying me. All right, slam them together, and we have the bone mace. They actually went and made bone weapons. I love that. Look at this thing. I mean, sh shouldn't it be called a flail? Not a yeah, who am I to say? I'm no medieval weapon expert or anything like that, but now we should be absolutely smashing Scurrious at high speeds. Let's do this. I need to see if this is true. Somebody told me you actually don't need to go through this house and open up several doors. You could dig on the outside of the fence yes it's true oh that's actually so much better i love you whoever told me that we finally get our second scurrious spine at 126 kills you're supposed to get one of these every 33 on average so uh you know just never lucky basically this account is just <laughs> so unlucky okay well there's our medium clue of the trip and another scurrious spine and the same kill we got three of them and i'm actually so excited to show you all what you can do with these spines of course i could make the other rat bane weapons I'm not going to, but I could. Instead, I'm going to talk to this cute gentleman out here and hook him up with a spine. Ah, a scurrious spine. Yes, trade all of them for combat lamps. And uh, I'm going to put these all in prayer because I don't know what else I would put them in. I don't really need XP in the generic combat stats. But it's 3,500 prayer XP. So that is over 10,000 prayer XP. Yeah, 10,500 prayer XP we just got from one trip. Not bad. Finally, an important drop. There is a long bone. Thank you, Scurrious. It's what I've been hunting the whole time. So listen, I tend to get a little carried away sometimes, okay? I just wanted to come to Scurrious to try out how fast we could get medium clues and such. I said I'd just stay here for 10 medium clues. But now we're at 300 kills, and I'm honestly just having a good time. Uh, but that's okay. We have only gotten 10 medium clues. We actually had 9 medium clues by the time we were at 150 kills. And in the past 150, we've only gotten 1. So that's a bit unfortunate. But yeah, this boss is actually pretty decent. It's like 2 medium clues an hour, which is not great compared to the Eclectic Method. But I'm also getting insane XP rates in my combat stats and a little bit of supplemental prayer XP. So I don't know. I don't mind it. And also, there's one more thing i got to show you here in a sec. First up, a little prayer XP drop, and then I must show you we are rank, where are we? I actually don't even know where we are. We are rank 80 at Scurrious for Hardcore Iron Man. Now, a lot of people might say there are many reasons for this. I personally say it's because every other Hardcore is way too scared to do this boss. It is just so dangerous and spooky, and uh, yeah, that's why I'm one of the only ones that was brave enough to kill it 300 times. I hope you're proud of me. And you know what? Let's go ahead and open up these medium caskets. I did have one already before I went for the tents. We've got 11 medium caskets. So exciting. Let's see if we can get ourselves some log slots, please. Oh, it's a dupe elegant, but... We also got a master clue. Let's see. Can we do it, please? Nope, we could not finish that master clue. No, I do not want to talk about it. It was heartbreaking. Okay, I just... Uh, oh, let's just keep going with the mediums. Another two dupes. Oh, spiked manacles. Wait, that might be massive. Is that the last pair of boots we needed for medium clues? It is! We've completed the entire medium clue boot collection in under 250 mediums. That's nuts. Okay. 
All right, I'll take that and the black headband. I knew I would get this early. This was the last item I needed on my main to finish the medium collection log. I think it took me 2,700 or 2,800 medium clues to get this. So uh, I was expecting this bad boy to turn up. I'm very happy to see you, my friend. It is a long, long time since I've seen you. Adam at full helm G. That's three log slots so far in this opening. Oh, and green fire lighters for the Phoenix. Very nice. That was very successful in my opinion. Time for another weird collection log grind. We're going for the Mask of Renewal from the Undead Druids here. It is a 1 in 1,000 drop, but thankfully along the way we'll be getting a lot of nice herb supplies. You can see we've already got two Toad Flax seeds. You get some like Wines of Zami, Potato Cacti, and such. And these guys are undead, so the Salve Amulet and Void is a great combo against them. Now, like I said, it's 1 in 1,000, so this might take a while, but they also drop hard clues at a rate of 1 in 100, so we might get like on average 10 hard clues along the way. I think that's a pretty good trade-off. And who could forget that there's a, literally an altar like 5 feet away from these guys, so I actually didn't need to bring all of these prayer potions but i did have to hop 20 worlds to find a free spot here i don't know why there are so many players here at the undead druids maybe it's a good training spot maybe it's a slayer task i have no idea this is just me baiting comments to tell me not to go into multi-combat in the wilderness for clue scrolls anymore yeah I probably shouldn't, but I hate dropping hard clues. I've already had to drop two so far on this grind, and I just can't bring myself to do it again. So we're going to walk straight into multi-combat. If there's a team here, honestly, they deserve to take my status. It's all good. Oh, we also get grubby keys from these guys. I forgot about that. That's our first one in 230 kills. I don't know if they're just really rare. We got unlucky, but yeah, grubby keys are great. We still don't have either of the Seracnus pet recolors. We're quite dry on that. So fingers crossed we get more than one long slot from this grind. There are a lot of... Of wildy steps i will do on hard clues but this one no are you actually serious we get the zombie champion scroll before the mask of renewal you know that's actually awesome i was thinking about this it is a possibility it's one in five thousand from these guys and uh yeah there we go zombie champion scroll we're three out of 10 champion scrolls i think it is to getting the cape i'm actually really excited to go for the champions cape on this account well we just passed over 1000 undead druids killed so we are officially dry on the mask of renewal of course we have gotten the zombie champion scroll so i'm not inclined to be too upset and we've completed i think nine hard clues so far so actually not too bad uh, we're pretty lucky on those. I've had to drop a lot of them. So the fact that we have nine in total right now is great. Although, I must say I'm getting a little bored here, especially considering the fact that they're all wearing the mask. I don't know why we can't just take it off of one of them. Don't know why I have to kill a thousand of these guys for it, but, you know, I didn't write the code. Well, I think it's time to take a break from the undead druids. We're at, like, 1100 or so, and I... You know, I know that's not like super dry or anything, but honestly, I'm so tired of AFKing them. They're super low effort, and I just want to do something a little more active. So let's open the 10 hard caskets that we got from them, see if we can nab ourselves some log slots, which would just be an amazing way to top off this grind. Five in, and we get our first one, Zamorak Crozier. Very nice. That's pretty cool. That is something. I will take it. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't gotten like any other uniques. Usually hard clues are just spitting them out. Oop, there's a dupe Zammy Dehyde body. And to top it all off, we get, well, we got purple sweets. That's something. Well, that was a little grim, so let's open the rest of the clues we have. Let me turn off my alarm real quick. It is 5 o'clock, and you know what happens at 5 o'clock. Well, you don't need to know what happens at 5 o'clock. That's for me to know and for you to find out. Beginner clue, we get some cooked shrimps. It's actually insane that they come pre-cooked. Uh, I think that's a little overpowered. Three elite clues. Oh, my God the bucket helm no way we got the bucket helm let's go one of the most important items on a hardcore iron man so you can hide your hardcore status no one will be able to know and you'll be able to get away in secrecy plus our second dragon legs slash skirt ornament kit so i wonder if uh I already used one on a pair of them, or if I have it stored in the POH or something, but it's cool that we can have both the legs and the skirt golden now. Two more elites to go. We get back-to-back -back uniques from an elite. Oh my god, Royal Scepter. So that's three uniques and two clues. I'm not going to ask for another. Whoa, what the hell? I've never seen this in my entire life. Three elite clues in a row with uniques. Two of them had double uniques, and both of these are new. The Royal Crown and Musketeer hat. Huh? A lot of hats as well, by the way. Look at that. The Royal Crown, the Bucket Helm, and the Musketeer hat. Plus, we got the Royal Scepter with the crown. This feels quite fitting. I'm now the queen of old school RuneScape. I figured it out. We've already made the Dragon Plate Legs gold trimmed and put them in the case, but you can only have one or the other. So here's the gold plate legs. And let's make the gold plate skirt to check it out. Uh, honestly, they both 
look kind of bad. I'm sure they look better with the entire set, but my god, they look goofy as hell. Oh, wait, I was wrong. I just went to deposit them all. Look, it actually made an extra spot for the dragon plate skirt, so it doesn't show it is required for the full set, but you can have them both in there. That's very cool, actually. Now let's take a break from these grinds to talk about War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made, and it's available now for free on PC and consoles. One of the coolest things about War Thunder is that it doesn't just feel like a video game where you hit your enemy and see their health go down. No, their vehicle damage models are incredibly in-depth. Every single vehicle is intricately modeled to its individual components, like the fuel tanks, the weapons, the crew, all of which can be disabled or damaged by enemy fire. Not only that, but when your vehicle or an enemy's is destroyed, War Thunder will show you exactly what happened. With their x-ray view, you'll see precisely where the shell penetrated, which parts were affected, and what actually led to the vehicle being destroyed. This is probably my favorite feature in the game because it's just so cool. You can pilot over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships from 10 major nations. Vehicles range from biplanes and armored cars from the 1920s all the way up to the fighter jets and battle tanks of our modern era. Plus, there's three different game modes that offer a distinct experience with varying levels of realism and vehicle performance. War Thunder gets you incredibly immersed with their realistic graphics, detailed vehicles, and authentic sound effects that make you feel like you're truly controlling these powerful war machines. So sign up with my link in the pinned comment or video description and get yourself a massive bonus pack available to new and returning players that haven't played for at least six months. You'll get the exclusive vehicle decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, and seven days of premium account. This bonus is available for a limited time only though, so jump on it quick. Thank you so much to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. And now to use the grubby keys that we got from the uh, Undead Druids we were killing to go for the Seracnus Pet Recolors, the Blue Egg Sack, and the Orange Egg sack which both come from this chest at a rate of one in 25 each which means it's about one in 12.5 to get one or the other we've opened 30 of them which puts us at just over two times the rate of getting one which is not too unlucky but you know i have a feeling we're getting one this time we have 15 keys in total to use let's just get going let's pump it out honestly i don't like to get too greedy but maybe we'll just get both of them i mean i don't know it's youtube luck you never know what to expect although we could get some youtube unluck it seems as there is our 40th chest with no Seragnus Pet Recolor. Five more keys. Come on. These are the ones. I They've got to be, right? They have to be. Oh, we actually did. We got the blue egg sack. Fantastic. There's one out of two down. And uh, one more key. Not lucky enough to get both. But hey, the fact that we got one is so awesome. And I'm going to try to pick up some of these potions off the ground. But yeah, thankfully, we have finally gotten one of them. And now we're just looking for the orange egg sack. Now, I don't have the Seracnus pet yet anyway, so it doesn't like really matter that much. I'm sure that by the time we actually get the Seracnus pet, we'll get enough grubby keys to hopefully get the other one. But, you know, we'll see. All right. And now I'm doing something that I might regret, but I want to get some more log slots in the Shades of Morton section. I have everything except for four of the locks and the bloody notes. I got everything else basically while going for this zealots outfit a long time ago and yeah these are kind of a massive pain to get this is going to be quite a painful grind because you need to get sacred oil from actually cleansing and repairing the actual temple there then you need to go into the catacombs and kill these shades get their remains use the oil on logs and then you come over here you uh you can tick manipulate which i'll be doing because i'm a big nerd you uh put the uh remains and the logs on here burn it and then you will be able to get yourselves some keys and i'm gonna have to use these keys to open the chest to get the locks it's a massive pain in the butt i'm only gonna be doing like 10 at a time because like i said it is such a pain to gather all of the things if i get spooned i don't want to have like 50 keys left over in my bank and i'm doing the tier 2 remains first because you can get uh steel keys and bronze keys from this i believe i only got steel keys this time but i'm pretty sure you can also get the lower tier key from this so i figure i might as well not start at the actual lowest tier of shades okay i have just just remembered a secret tip forbidden knowledge passed down through the generations of my family and that is if you're wearing the ring of wealth the drop rate of the locks increases like very slightly like on this chest here the bronze black key chest it actually brings up from 1 in 60 to 1 in 58 which means we're about to get it right now right R well we got silver bars i mean that's cl close enough oh oh wait we actually got it the steel locks yes we got it at like 50 ish keys so we got very slightly lucky and by slightly lucky i mean perfectly on rate with the power of the ring of wealth let's go that's one down and the best thing about these locks is you can actually use them to upgrade your coffee oh wait just kidding um you actually only need the gold ones for some reason they made all these different tiers of the locks here but you don't need to start from bronze and work your way up so there's literally no point in going for any of these four lower tier locks 
They're just completely just collection log fodder. I kind of hate them. I wish you had to start from bronze and work your way all up to gold. But at the same time, this coffin thing only matters if you're doing Shades of Morton. So I, I don't want to talk about it. Well, it's happened. I'm basically out of the sacred oil I had stockpiled before. And we only have the one collection log slot. Time to go to more of the actual temple reconstruction. I think if I make flame terror bracelets, it should be super duper easy. I don't have any left over, but shouldn't be too hard to make. So I am busting out an ancient, mostly forgotten method passed down through history to repair these walls faster. So as you can see, it's like every four ticks or so you go to repair the wall. It's very slow here, but you can actually speed it up by twice as fast. You get yourself a staff that can auto cast, like the smoke battle staff here or any staff will work honestly staff of fire and uh, you just click on an enemy then click the wall do this back and forth and you will actually have a chance to repair the wall every two ticks which makes this annoying activity twice as fast as you can see here it is absolutely amazing and the only thing that can get in your way is a giga chad with a dragon scimitar killing all of the shades but uh luckily there's actually a lot of people here doing shades of morton which means that i don't have to actively repair every single wall up to the fullest before i can make myself some sacred oil okay check this out y'all and just about half an hour we have made 200 ish sacred oil and that should hopefully be enough to get us the rest of the locks we need i'm not 100 percent sure i think we only need three more uh, and it's on average like one in 60 ish to get a lock so it should be enough for that but of course we still need the bloody notes and i'm probably going to do gold keys for those because it has the best rate i'm pretty sure it's like one in 300 something so hopefully we get lucky and get it while we're going for the other locks but uh, i'm not going to get my hopes up too high oh no we got a another rune scroll of swamp bark oh that's so sad it doesn't even alk for anything which makes it even more depressing okay wait is that the only one that i've gotten okay it's hard to tell because it doesn't show up in the log but yeah that's the same drop rate as the other one dang it okie doke it's unfortunate news but we are very dry okay we're not very dry we're a little bit dry on the silver log we've done like 70 or so of these four emails of the damned in one inventory too that's that's pretty weird, but yeah, we're a little bit dry on this, which sucks. This is not the place you want to go dry, but now it's time to go kill more shades and uh, burn more shades, and hopefully we don't have to get more sacred oil. How many redwood pyre logs do we have left? Only 116. Oh, God, we're already almost halfway through, and we don't even have one new log slot. Oh, there it is. Yes, we got the silver locks. Oh, finally. I'm so happy to be done with this one. We went, I mean, it was not that dry. We did like 80 of them or something. It's like, it's not even one and a half times dry, but it feels so much worse than it actually is here because it's such a long drawn out process. All right, I'm dropping all these keys on the ground. I don't even want to see them again. Now let's swing our way in here and just get the smooth back to back into the black locks. I actually thought that's what that was there for a second, but it's just a plate skirt. Oh, there it is. I was just about to say we just passed over number 60, but there we go. We got that on like almost exactly the drop rate. Oh, the black locks are done, meaning we only have one left to go. The bronze ones. Oh my gosh, this one's so silly because the best way to get these is by killing lore shades, which I think are those ones that are just on the surface up there. I am so not excited for this. It's so goofy that I'm going to be using redwood pyre logs to get that. And I could actually, I could have been using uh, lower tier logs for this one. I'm pretty sure. But the problem is I already used all my sacred oil on these, assuming that I'd be going dry. So uh, yeah, we've only got 30 pyre logs left. Let's see if we can get super lucky and get it in these last 30. Okay, here's the last inventory of keys I have available, and we are going to be at 60 keys open now, so we're now dry on the bronze locks again. Why have I gone dry on every single type of lock is the question I have. So anywhere that involves a chest, I just go stupid dry on, and it is no fun. So I get to go kill more of those stupid green shades, make more of these bronze keys. All right, we're officially two times dry on the bronze locks. Let's go. Oh, we got the drunken dwarf. Okay, this is going to be our last inventory for the bronze locks. I need to take a break from this after this. I have been at this for about two hours just this morning. And uh, God knows how many hours last night. And I just I just can't do it anymore. I know I'm only like two and a half times dry on this thing. It's not the craziest dry streak ever. But I just can't. I mean, you don't get anything out of this. And it's such a stupid grind. I don't know what they were thinking when they made this update here. I love the Urium shades and the clue gathering meta and stuff. And that's really fun. But for Iron Man, this is one of the stupidest collection logs. And it just hurts me so much. I just can't keep going. So I'm going to take a little break from this. We'll come back another time. Don't worry, everyone. This is just fake footage of me doing a deep wildy step on my hard cry. I promise I would never actually do that. I don't want to stress you guys out or anything. Okay, wow, this elite clue is going to have an amazing reward because look at that back-to-back -back with the king black dragon step. I, don't, I mean, I can't do it because I don't have anti-fire on me, but 
feels like fate. Okay, this elite clue is absolutely cursed. What step are we on? Four, and we get north of the volcano, which is in multi at literally the deepest point in the wilderness you can go to. So, uh, we, we probably shouldn't do this one. And there is a completely different elite clue finish. Totally not the same one. I swear I did not go out into deep wilderness for this. But just hypothetically, if it was the same clue and I did like three or four deep wildy steps in one clue, the rewards would be amazing, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> and your weekly reminder why I love Necreal tasks, especially in the Slayer Tower. Look at that. We got so much prayer XP thanks to the stupidly overpowered spell Demonic Offering. I love it because prayer is kind of a massive pain on hardcores because we don't have access to the Wildy Altar. Well, we do have access to the Wildy Altar. We just aren't hardcores after using it. <laughs> All right, 169 Dagonoth on Water Birth. I guess that means we're going to do some DKs, and we still need one more ring from DKs, the Warrior Ring, and we need the Mud Battle Staff. So hopefully we can nab those. Probably going to grab the uh, Dagonoth Supreme Pet while I'm there, too. I think it would just be nice to knock that out real quick. All right, like second kill of the trip or something like that, we get a Sears Ring. I don't have the inventory space for it, and I kind of don't want to drop anything that I have. Oh, no, I can, I can do this. I can juggle it. It's fine. But yeah, look at those 600k. That is awesome seeing the Sears Ring actually be worth something. I really, again, I feel like I've said this before, but I wish they made it so that the Desert Treasure 2 rings, instead of just getting the Chromium Ingots from the boss, I wish you could also disassemble the DK rings into a Chromium Ingot. And another Sears Ring. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I forgot about that. Oh my god, dude. I thought I could run to the bathroom real quick while I was fighting uh, Prime, but I forgot I brought my escape crystal with me in case I DC'd, so it just teleported me out. Well, I tried. Oh, I almost didn't notice it, honestly. But hey, another Dragon Axe, and you might not know this, but the reason I'm so excited to get Dragon Axe is I can actually use it to recharge my Infernal Axe so that I can get a little bit more fire-making XP when I AFK at Redwoods. Now, normally it is better to use the new Felling Axes from Forestry for more woodcutting XP, but you do need to keep making those rations, and I ran out. So, you know, I'm going to keep using my Infernal Axe for now on. Last kill, last chance for a Warrior Ring, please! Oh, no Warrior Ring. I'm actually so upset about that. And uh, there's the Dagonoth task completed. I only got chanced one time. It sounds like I'm joking, but I'm actually not joking. I was distracted looking away for a moment, and uh, Prime hit me twice. First time knocked me down to 48 health, and the second time only hit like an 8. But I did technically get chanced. Prime can hit up to 50, so uh, you know, this could have been the end of the hardcore Iron Man. Or maybe I'm just making it up for dramatic effect. Y'all will never know. Okay, maybe I'm just a horrible liar. Dagonauts back to back. I'm going to be honest, I really don't want to do another DK's task. So yes! Okay, the best choice of my life. We got a Worms task, which I've never been that excited to do Worms. But right now, I am very <laughs> excited to do Worms. Let's go get geared up and use the Lance there. And maybe get ourselves a Dragon Harpoon or a Dragon... Uh, what's the other one? Sword? Yeah, Sword or something. One of the best updates Jagex has released in a long time. When you pull out your rune pouch in your bank, you can hit configure and make rune pouch presets. So I've got my thralls preset, I've got my alking preset, my barraging preset, and then boop, I will load up this preset for using my uh, whatever the spell is, demonic offering or whatever, to turn bones and ashes into XP. It's such a great update. I love it. Also, for reference, I have killed almost 3,000 worms, which means I am dry on the dragon sword and the dragon harpoon. Luckily, though, we're definitely going to get both of them this task, so you don't need to worry about that at all. All right, so I have no idea how much XP I'm going to get from our sinister offering with worm bones. I'm not even sure if it's worth it. But the nice thing about this is you don't have to bank the bones anymore. And I think that's one of the biggest advantages of this spell. So let's cast it. Three worm bones equals 450 XP. That's pretty good. That means this task with the lance might actually just be worth it to do it because you keep absolutely shred these things with the lands and that means every bone is worth what is that like a hundred and i'm not going to do the math well but it's like 140 150 xp per bone exactly and that is a lot like for how fast you kill these in relation to other dragons i mean this is actually pretty good prayer xp i'm not gonna lie all right here we go last worm kill of the task is completed i must have missed a bone or something because i don't think 160 no it is actually 165 is divisible by three that's perfect amount of 
of numbers there. So we can finish off all of our bones. Let's check the prayer XP for this task. We got 24.8k prayer XP and just under 35,000 uh, prayer XP per hour, which is pretty nice, actually. That is not bad at all. I also had to get up and go do something for a little bit in the middle of this task, and I stayed logged in. So, you know, it's probably closer to 40,000 prayer XP per hour, but yeah, that is not bad at all. Prepare yourself for a momentous occasion. Look at that XP when I click this. 50 million farming XP. Oh, that feels so good. We're a quarter of the way to 200 mil, and I've started being a little bit more active on my farm runs. I used to not do them as much. That's why this account's been alive for so long, and we only have 50 million farming XP, but I would love to get this skill to 200 mil at some point. I used to hate the farming skill, but now, honestly, I get a lot of joy out of doing tree runs just every now and then whenever I have the actual seeds for it. It's just something cathartic about running tree to tree and planting the new ones and finding out half of them are dead and ripping your hair out. Oh, sweet. There's our first Drake's task that we're actually going to do. I'm so excited for this one as well. Drake's also dropped their own unique bones. So I'm going to switch over to the Arceus spellbook and use that method as well to get us some more prayer XP. We'll see how much they give per bone. But yeah, these guys, I think you want to have a DFS equipped when you fight them because they actually do shoot some dragon fire out and it can deal a lot of damage or something like that. I'm going to have to look it up. All right. According to my research, allegedly, if you drink an extended super anti-fire, I mean, you could just drink a normal super anti-fire, but the extended works great. You don't need any other dragon fire protection against the drakes, so we shall see. No, someone's already hit this. What a human piece of garbage. But I don't think their normal attacks count as uh, dragon fire. I think it's only the attack they shoot that's like a little projectile like Vorkat that goes and lands on you. So I could actually just dodge it. Uh, but I don't know how high it can hit if you don't have protection, so I'm probably still just going to use protection. I could just bring a DFS, but man, Defender is so good. We're absolutely shredding this thing. Look at the Dragon Hunter lands. Oh my god. Absolutely love this weapon. I'm just waiting for it to shoot it so I can tank it. Here we go. You ready? And nothing. <laughs> nice try, nerd. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, how much XP do I get from three Drake Bones? That's the wrong spell. Three Drake Bones. 720. Wow. That is really good. That's 240 XP per bone, I think. Wow, that's almost as much as Dragon Bones on the altar. Dang, this is awesome. I'm liking this task. Also, I didn't mention it, but these drakes have two uniques, one of which is actually really good. I can't remember what the other one does, honestly, but I know that the drake's tooth, I think it is, you combine with the holy sandals to make the devout boots, which have the highest prayer bonus in the boot slot, which I would really like for a lot of tasks, especially my barrage tasks that don't actually require much magic accuracy, like necreals or uh, dust devils. This will be a huge boost to those tasks. And I think the other one you combine with the boots of brimstone to make a boot that's just not that good and there's the drake's task we were not spooned any drops unfortunately but it's one in 512 for each drop so one in 256 to get either i'm sure we'll get one on the next task more worms more chance for the dragon harpoon here we go oh this is the best worst feeling ever an elite clue scroll like four kills into this trip here at kraken it means that i have to go leave and do this unless it's a really bad step no it's a doable step all right kraken i'll be back babe Yay, we got something this task, a Kraken Tentacle at 2695. Where is it? It's hiding in here somewhere. Uh, Yeah, very nice. Uh, We are almost at 2700 Kraken kill count, which means we're just like two tasks away from the pet rate. I hope we get the pet, but then again, if we don't, it's okay. I got to do so many Kraken to get the 10 to max out my uh, Trident of the Swamp, so I don't have to remember to charge it every now and then. Speaking of which, okay, I got to charge it soon. Oh my gosh, the Kraken task is finally over. Two and a half hours straight of this boss. Like... It's nice being able to chill, but that is like way too long to chill. I'm not looking to chill that long. I want to fight something actively. Give me a good task now, Konar, please. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, why not? 29 brimstone keys. Let's go for it. Let's open the chest. What are we at? 188. We're actually about to be dry for Dusk Mystic here. That's exciting, right? It's exciting to go dry on both of my accounts. Unless we get it in the next eight. It's entirely possible. No one can predict what will happen. I could even get the full set in these last 20 keys. Anything could happen, and yes, I'm just saying this to cope. Yes, I'm just saying it to make myself feel better as we cross over to 200 brimstone chests without a piece of Dusk Mystic on the hardcore. Will it take 700 as well on this account to get our first piece? Yeah, probably. But that's okay, because look at the supplies. I say this every time, at least on the hardcore, the supplies are amazing. It's not just GP, because GP just depresses me, but this time I can actually plant these tree seeds, I can cook the swordfish, I can plant the herb seeds, at least that's... Oh. Oh, wait, we actually got a piece on 213. We get the Dusk Mystic hat. Yes. 
Ah, first piece of Dusk Mystic on the hardcore. It looks so good. Look at that. It's the dorkiest looking piece. I look like some kind of wizard playing Quidditch or something. I don't know, some kind of wizard dork. That is me. All right, three more to go. Can we get another piece? Probably not. Honestly, hope not because that would be way too spooned. All right, first Dusk Mystic, Dusk Mystic hat, and we did not go that dry on us. So you know what? I have a feeling this account's going to have much better luck. You know, I'm not going to be a doomer anymore. I'm going to be very positive about this. And let's go ahead and put it in here. We should be able to find the Mystic sets. Here we go. There's our first piece. Hey, we started with the piece that's all the way on the left. So I think we're just going to have to work our way left to right on those. And a quick thank you once again to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Make sure to sign up with my link in the pinned comment or video description to get yourself a massive bonus pack that hooks you up with the Vehicle Decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, and 7 days of premium account. Like I said, this bonus is only limited time only, so you're going to want to jump on that quick. Anyways, this is where I'm going to be ending the video. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Didn't I say I was going to get to 700 collection log slots this video and we're only at 685? Uh, give me a second. Okay, there we go. 716 collection log slots. As promised, there is all of the Castle Wars log done, minus the gold decorative armor, which we'll do eventually as well. Yep, I just, uh, just figured we knocked that one out real quick. So there's 700 collection log slots. I hope you're happy. Thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you had a great time. If you could press all those fun buttons down below the algorithm likes, I would appreciate it very much. And in the next video, we are going to get to at least 717 log slots. You can mark my words. I promise you that much. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Goodbye.